After more than 46 years, Fort Worth police say they have solved the kidnapping and murder of a 17-year-old girl. Good evening, everyone. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. The man police arrested was originally a person of interest, but police didn't have enough evidence on him until now. February of 1974, Carla Walker was abducted from a bowling alley parking lot, assaulted and murdered. Her body was found in a culvert days later. 77-year-old Glenn McCurley was officially linked to the crime thanks to newer DNA technology. Fox 4 Stephen Dial live with reaction from Walker's family. Stephen. Steve, there's not many times where we can do a report reporting an arrest in a cold case, especially one that's been going on for so long like this one. The family was here of Carla Walker and they were emotional at times, especially after her brother spoke uh, to us today, talking and detailing how he and others have felt him saying that uh, at times he wouldn't just say that he always had hope. He says there were some dark times in his life, but the family says it was their faith and dedicated detectives that got them closer to justice. 46 years, seven months and five days. That's how long the family of Carlo Walker waited to see an arrest in the murder of their loved one. In 1974, 17-year-old Carla Walker and her boyfriend left a Valentine's Day dance at their school and were sitting in the parking lot of the Wrigley Bowling Alley in Fort Worth. Detectives say Glenn McCurley forced Walker out of the car, fired a shot, and pistol-whipped her boyfriend. Detectives say Walker was sexually assaulted and strangled. Three days later, on the 20th of February, her body was found in a culvert near Benbrook Lake. The case was reopened last year after remaining cold for more than four decades. McGurley was one of the original persons of interest in the 1974 case, but... There just wasn't enough information at the time to make a direct connection. Police had tied him to the gun used in the crime, his registered firearm matching the magazine that was left at the scene. But they didn't have any further evidence. Then, technology caught up with them. Sometimes when you do testing, you don't always get a full profile. This time when we retested, we got a full profile. According to the arrest warrant affidavit, McGurley's name showed up after detectives submitted DNA from the crime scene. He still lived in Fort Worth. Police then collected DNA from his trash and it matched crime scene evidence. Then in July, detectives questioned McGurley at his home and McGurley volunteered his DNA. It matched the crime scene again and he was arrested and charged with capital murder. This whole case being resolved is a thank you God moment. Jim Walker is Carla's brother. He says the prayers of many helped this case be solved. Bill Gunther has been a member of a prayer group praying for the family weekly at Capstone Church in Benbrook. Once we started praying, Jim saw everything start to fall into place. And he asked us, please continue. And uh, Jim has prayed on his own, and uh, we pray for and with him. And uh, things just kept falling into place. And last night it all came, came to fruition. Investigators say McCurley and Walker did not know each other. Carla Walker's brother Jim had this message for her accused murderer. We're praying for you. We don't hate you. Um, we really are praying for you. I hope that the city of Fort Worth has prayers for the family. Uh, it's, it's not their fault. Fort Worth investigators say they hope to use this same DNA technology to help solve other cold cases. There were some questions, Stephen Heather, that they were not able to answer. They say they want to maintain the integrity of the investigation as this will be going to trial.